Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is 10 sets of BJDs that are written in the same font. And what do I mean by that? Um, you might have seen the trend that's going around where they talk about celebrities written in the same font. The two that I really think of are Bryce Dallas Howard and Jessica Chastain. Like those ladies are definitely written in the same font, if you know what I mean. And font is so important about conveying emotion. It's really important when you're doing something to choose the right font for the emotion you want to convey. And I think that's what this video is going to be about. You know, it's not necessarily that these dolls look like each other because most of these dolls don't actually look like each other, but it's more about the emotion that they evoke from me when I look at them. It's more about their style and sort of the sense you get when you see the dolls. So I'm really excited to do these for you. So let's jump right into it. Number 10 on my list are Wrap 1993, Teeny Tinkers, and La Compagnie de Radis. I always get that one messed up. It's the Radish Company, but in French. Now, these dolls are three examples of dolls that really don't look like each other, but they evoke the same feelings for me. They're very cutesy, they're very kawaii, their faces are very cartoon-like, and I don't mean that in a negative sense at all. I mean that in a very positive sense. They're very happy and exuberant dolls, and the same can be said for all the dolls from these artists, every one of their dolls is has this kind of feel and this vibe to it. And that's why I think these dolls are definitely considered to be written in the same font. And it's funny because the um, Wrap 1993 doll has the same kind of hand gesture that Melba has. And it's just fun, you know, they're, they're, there's a reason that I have all three of these dolls in my collection and it's because of the feeling that they give me and they just make me happy to look at them. They're just so cute and they're so sweet and I feel like they're a lot different than a lot of the other stuff that's out there and available. So this is my first set of dolls that um, are written in the same font. Number nine on my list is Goblin Tails BJD and Rose BB Flockling BJDs. Now, the reason that these dolls evoke the same feeling for me. Now you can see they don't look anything alike, but they're both very reminiscent to me of fantasy. You know, The Hobbit is my favorite book um, ever since I read it in, I think I was in eighth grade, maybe sixth grade when I read that book. And both of these creators, both of these artists really evoke, I mean, look at this little guy, he is a little hobbit. They evoke that sense of fantasy to me and like going on a fantasy journey and fairies and magical creatures and things like that. And that's just such a feeling that I love and I get that out of both artists. They both have that sense of whimsy that really, really appeals to me. As a matter of fact, I have a Yoon fairy that I just got her face back. I didn't just get her face back. I got her face back like two weeks ago. I haven't had a chance to make a face up reveal video for her, but I have another pixie joining my Goblin Tales crew. As soon as I have the opportunity to show you guys the um, video of her face up reveal. But so I'll have two of them plus all my mosslings. One of the mosslings is still in the cabinet. I was grabbing stuff, but they just, they just have this sense this fantastic sense about them. I mean, very, that's my favorite genre. I love sci-fi fantasy. Um, like I love, I love the House of the Dragon, the Game of Thrones, like that show that just ended, love that. And I love like Star Wars stuff, but this kind of thing really just appeals to me at my very base nerd <laughs> level, like that fantasy stuff. So these are definitely written in the same font and for the reason that they both just have that really great appeal to the world of fantasy. Number eight on my list, and I'm already cheating because this isn't a BJD, but I couldn't help but include these because this is actually what inspired me to do this video, is when I opened Zoe, I realized this is from Moppy Doll, Moppy Doll Zoe. I just got her um, maybe a couple days ago, and when I opened her, I realized how much I love her. It's because she, she's beautifully, beautifully sculpted. She has that same sort of expression that the Pongratz dolls have, which I love. They have this neutral expression, so you can kind of put onto them whatever emotion you're feeling. They can be happy, sad, thoughtful, wistful, you know, whatever, excited. They can be really anything with the expression that they have, and I think that's so cool. And what I also like is Pongratz dolls always come in like knits or pretty floral fabrics, 
and Zoe, what did she come with? She came with a knitted cardigan and a really pretty floral fabric uh, dress. And so I just really think these two are written in the same font. And I don't think on purpose, of course, but it's just the um, it's just the feeling and the sense that I get. They're they're warm and cozy dolls. Does that make sense? They're just warm, cozy. You know, you just want to hug them and kind of like I don't know, sit down and have a warm cup of tea and and look at your dolls kind of thing. They're that that's what they remind me of. Sit by the fire with your doll, not too close to the fire with your pongrats, because you, you know. But anyway, I just I love both of these dolls so much, and I thought they had to be on the list, even though technically not a BJ. That's the only cheating I'm going to do on this list today, though, I think. Maybe. We'll see. But anyway, that's number eight on my list. Number seven on my list are Popovi Sisters and Nothing Sapiens. And you may be saying to yourself, Allison, what in the world? Okay, let me explain. So these dolls, first of all, they are, to me, they're premium fashion dolls. But there's a lot of dolls that I consider premium fashion dolls that I wouldn't say are written in the same font necessarily. But why do I feel like Popovi and Nothing Sapiens are? Here's why. If you look at the faces and you look at the bodies of these dolls, they're not proportional. A lot of people complain about how um, thin the Popovi dolls are and stuff like that, but they're not made to be like really in proportion. They're art pieces and the faces are very exaggerated in my opinion. They're not, you know, perfect replicas of a human face and I feel the same way about the Nothing Sapiens dolls. They're not, they're human but they're also alien, right? There's something very alien and very human about these dolls and that's why to me they give me the same sort of feeling when I look at them. I have this feeling of like wow what a masterpiece of art. What a really cool um, just what a cool piece of art, like how they did the face, how they did the body, how they did the outfits, all that sort of stuff is just really fascinating to me. And that's why I put these in the same category. Now, they, they're totally different styles. I mean, these are your sci-fi, you know, space alien sort of thing where these are more of your high fashion um, sort of dolls, but that they're very, they're very, different yet to me they have that same sort of vibe like that same sort of the faces are really almost kind of alien you know they're they have that almost it's not quite human you can't quite put your finger on it but you're really drawn to it and really attracted to it and that's why I put these in that same category together because I really love these dolls I have two more nothing sapiens dolls coming a sob and a um uh a oh gosh what's her name i can't think of her name naora uh, um i've got two more of them coming because i really love their dolls but yeah these i put them in the same category and if you if you can kind of see what i'm saying yeah if you if you think i'm crazy leave me a comment below and let me know like there's no way allison but to me I don't know, it's just, they just have that sense of that kind of alien, otherworldly beauty sort of sense about them. And so that's why I put them in the same category. That's why I think they have, they're written in the same font. Number six on my list of dolls written in the same font are Pasha Pasha and Lily Cat. And just look at them. And I'm gonna kind of use a lot of the same description that I did in number seven, but both of these artists, their dolls have an alien-like quality to them. They're beautiful, they're gorgeous, but the faces, there's something different about them. And that's what I love about these dolls so much is they're not your traditionally pretty, beautiful faces. They're gorgeous, but they're very different. And that's something that I really love about both of these dolls. And it's just, it's it's funny because my friend that I visited, if you watch my friend Carrie's um, doll collection tour, I remember thinking it was interesting that she had Letsinko dolls and she had a bunch of Pasha Poshas and then she had a Lily Cat. And as I started thinking about making this video, I was like, it makes perfect sense because Lily Cat and Pasha they evoke the same feeling. They're written in the same font. They both have this alien sort of beauty, this ethereal, otherworldly beauty to them. And even though I kind of use that same descriptor for the Popovies and the Nothing Sapiens, they don't they don't have the same vibe to me. It's not the same sort of vibe. It's it's different. It's in a very different way. These are very um, just very I don't know. They just I love these dolls so much. I don't know how else to say it, but to me it's that kind of exaggerated, 
um, different sort of face and just how gorgeous they are. I mean, oh, don't you love them? I do. I mean, they're just so pretty. And I, I think that all of Pasha's dolls are pretty much that way and all of Lily Cat's dolls are pretty much that way. Neither one of them has like a true replica of a human face in their lineup. Maybe Hunger, maybe Pasha's Hunger is more like a, and maybe Nerve too, but like I love kind of the otherworldly look that these dolls have to them. They're not like perfect rep representations of human beings. They're, they're humanoids. And so that's why I put these two together. Number five on my list are Natalia Loseva dolls and Joy doll. Now, this one's gonna be a lot harder for me to describe. I think the easiest description to kind of start with is these are the most traditionally pretty BJDs that I have. They are among the most traditionally pretty. I have a few others that are like traditionally pretty, but there's something about these dolls that when you hold them in your hands, they just feel like such quality like the resin has this weight to it that's really um pleasing it's just like it feels good to hold in your hand it's like a heavy resin piece and i just really like the way it feels i got this one i didn't do an unboxing for her but i got her off the secondary market there's another joy doll that's been shipped to me so i've got another one coming here shortly but these dolls are heavy they're heavier than their same size counterparts they just feel they feel good in the hands. And I don't know another way to describe that. And I don't know how to make that really come through in a video because you can't hold and touch them. But there's something about them when I hold these dolls in my hand, I just feel like, wow, like somebody made this. Like this is an art piece that somebody spent time making. And not only that, but like I was saying, these dolls, they are the most, among the most traditionally pretty dolls that I have in my collection. Most of my collection has some sort of fantasy look to it or the exaggerated proportions or whatever and I actually prefer that but with these dolls there's something about them that I just love so much and just holding them is like I really that that's I can't describe it better than that but the way they feel in my hands and the way that's when I see these dolls that's the kind of feeling they bring forth for me is just like this feeling of quality and like what a masterpiece I have here in my hands and I just really love that about these dolls and that's why I put them together as as written in the same font because they do have that I mean they just feel so good in the hand so anyway that was number five number four on my list are trinket box dolls by Kim Arnold and Little Darlings and I almost cheated and brought out a vinyl Little Darling but I promised I wouldn't and I do have a Little Darling BJD so I brought her out instead and why do I think these dolls are written in the same font? They both have very sweet faces. Like the faces are just so sweet and so childlike. And I love the way that the dolls are always dressed. A lot of attention is put into the, the dress that the dolls are wearing. And they just kind of have that sense of, it's a little bit like, I don't know, nostalgia might not be the right word, but it's something like, you know, you think about your own childhood and, and being a little kid when you look at the faces of these dolls, at least I do. And so there's something about them that's just, they just have that sense of, of childlike innocence and childlike wonder and, you know, just being a kid. And I think they're so cool. And I, I love how beautiful the faces are. They're very different. So they're very, Kim's style is very different than Diana Efner's sculpting is but i just feel like they they kind of have that same emotion with them that same pure childlike innocence and just that sweetness about them and so that's why i think they are written in the same font three on my list is forever virginia and my meadow now both of these artists do a lot of sharing of their work and process. I've seen lots of pictures of them sculpting, and I don't know if that's why I associate them together. They are, that you could almost kind of put them in category four with Kim Arnold and Little Darling, but they have a slightly different, I get a slightly different feel from them, and it's like, it is childlike, but there's something else to it. It's like there's a little bit of, um, there's a little bit of coziness there, kind of like we talked about with the Moppy doll and the Pongrats. There's like a coziness with these dolls and there's, 
the dolls are really well jointed they pose really well and I think just a lot of time and effort and work goes into these dolls and I I really kind of like they have they feel the same in my hands. They, they give me the same sort of vibe. And it is, these are older dolls. They're like, this is Virginia's sweetheart line and this is the tween line. So these are girls, you know, around uh, 10, 11, 12 years old. And I just think they're so sweet. And the way that these, both of these artists sculpt is just really sweet and gives you that sort of, I don't know, just that warm and fuzzy feeling when you look at one of their dolls. I don't know how else to describe it, but I just, adore their dolls so much and I love I love the feeling that I get when I see one of them and again it, it some of it could be too that these dolls have been at almost every doll show I've been at since I started collecting BJDs and that could be a part of it like you know just having a, a little bit of nostalgia for when I first started collecting BJDs I've always collected dolls but BJDs I didn't start collecting until a little bit later and I don't know, these these artists have always just been like a solid presence in the BJD community that I've been a part of because I started as a part of the artist BJD community. I'm not, I don't, I still to this day don't really know much about company BJDs and I, I my interest lies with the artist BJDs and so it was just kind of cool for me. Um, I think to think about this when I decided to make this video and this project, like these dolls to me just really go together in this sort of way. So that is number three. Number two on my list is Ana Salvador and Connie Lowe. And this one kind of dawned on me as I was thinking about it. Both of these artists have a background in antique dolls. Both of them like an antique yet modern style to their dolls. And that's why they have this sort of vibe that you get when you hold one of their dolls you get this sensation of the old and the new and the meshing of the two and they're just such great works of art they're they're two of my favorite artists a lot of these on the list have and i tried to be sure not to put all my favorites up near the top of the list because y'all know posh is one of my favorites too but like these are two of my favorite artists and they really give me like the same sort of vibe. And it is because they both have that background in antique dolls. Now the doll sculpts look totally different. It's a totally different style that they have from one another, but it is that antique background that, you know, informs the design work that they do for their dolls. And I think that is so, um, it's just so cool and it comes through and it gives us collectors such joy to collect their dolls because of that because you get that mashup of the old and new and it's it's different and it's beautiful um it's beautiful but it's not too beautiful it's not like princessy you know over the top it's like this beautiful antique vintage sort of style that's so much fun and that's just it's really breathtaking in a lot of ways and that's why I think these two really are written in the same font. Like you look at that background and what their influences have been when they started their own doll making journey. And I think that's where you can see that definitely come through with both of these artists and their dolls. And again, two of my favorite artists um, love their dolls very much, but that is number two. Number one on my list, and thank you if you made it this far. This is two more of my very favorite artists. And like I said, I tried not to put all my favorite artists at the top, but it, you can't help but it happens sometimes. Um, is Nikki Britt and Atelier Mamoni. Both of these have been long time favorite artists of mine. And both of their work gives me such joy in a way. It's, it's been instrumental in my ball jointed doll collecting, both of their work. And I think that Part of it is they both love Disney parks. I love Disney parks. And I think that inspires some of what they do is kind of loving Disney stuff and, and that kind of same sort of thing. They both love that. And so again, I think that inspires what they do. And to me, I see that and I know that because I've seen their pictures. And so I kind of relate the two in my mind. But also they have very sweet faces for their dolls. Their dolls just have the sweetest, most aesthetically pleasing gorgeous faces you've ever seen they're so cute they're so pretty they're just they're everything like i love them so so much and i think that's you know whoo, 
whoops i think that's one of the things that because i've collected both of these artists for so long i do have a little bit of that i keep talking about nostalgia but i do have a little bit of that nostalgia for them because i've collected both artists for so long i've met both artists many times and i love them both they're they're both wonderful people and it's just so cool to have to have their artworks in my home and it's just it's just that they're just I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words but I love I just love their faces and everything about them and the way that the artist comes through on these dolls is just outstanding they just make me happy these dolls just give me that total sense of peace and happiness and I just love it so much so these are my Number one dolls were in the same font. And when I was making this video and I thought about it and I was trying to think, you know, I was looking at my Mamoni doll and I'm like, who is Mamoni really? Who, who could that be? And, and it dawned on me, it's Nikki Britt for sure. Like these dolls give me the same feeling. When I get one of these dolls, I get the same sort of feeling for each artist. Um, and you get a different feeling with every doll. Every doll is a different feeling. It's a different experience. Um, unboxing a new doll or getting a new doll and but for me these two are definitely written in the same font so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was really fun to think about and try to put together and write for you guys let me know in the comments below if you disagree with any of my choices like if you think there's no way those two um, are written in the same font or let me know what BJDs you think are written in the same font. I would love to hear your opinions on this matter. So anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all watching this so much. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Krista R, Shorna R, Shira Star Hobby, Stephanie W, Jessica S, Ray M, Asia C, Shalane C, Penny P, Louise's Knit Knacks, and Marty G. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, check the link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.